Hello, my name is Gara and this is my cyber deck. My main goal for this project was to make a portable and adaptable platform that I could run my cybersecurity tools on, but also use as a crash cart when I'm doing server administration and maintenance. I also wanted it to be user serviceable and easy to upgrade when needed. To that end, I've built this with as much off the shelf parts as possible and trying to reduce e-waste as well. I used as many of the parts that I already had just lying around. Inside here, we are running a Raspberry Pi using the Pi Juice hat connected to a lithium ion battery to supply power. Because it's running a standard Raspberry Pi, we can just load up any version of Linux that can run on ARM straight into here, including the cybersecurity focused Kali Linux, if you wanted to have a full set of cybersecurity tools straight out of the box. The Raspberry Pi 4 also allows for multiple displays. We have on the front panel here full sort of I.O. We can hook up a separate display, including head mounted displays. I frequently use this with an X wheel set of glasses, you can effectively have it walking around as a heads-up display. When using this as a server root crash cart, you can connect a male-to-male -male USB cable into the front I.O. here and flick the button in the handle well. That will switch over the KM switch, which will allow you to then use the keyboard and touchpad on whatever external machines you're connecting it to. If you're using a head-mounted display, you can then connect that up and have a direct video input as well. I wanted the case design to be as easy to 3D print as possible, but also as easy to adapt to whatever available hardware that you have on hand. The case itself actually comes in three sections. There is the handle section, the middle sections, and an end cap, which you can then remix in pretty much any slicer program to form whatever you want. If you want two handles, that's an option. Each of the sections has mounting holes that are compatible with whatever standoffs that you have. They're also spaced, so they should be compatible with the majority of single board computers. You can assemble these parts in a variety of different ways, but they'll always give you a easy to print rectangular top panel, which sets into the inlay. And this allows you to rapidly prototype and adapt whatever ports, control systems, screens, or anything else that you'll want to build into or through the top panel. Once assembled, the sections will give you a rail mounting system on both sides that runs the full length of the deck. I wanted to attach a sling to make everything easier to carry when I'm moving around the server room or to go into and from an office. I also wanted to have the ability to attach additional modules, so screens like a Flipper Zero or a D-Strike module for cybersecurity demonstrations. I wanted to attach them and unattach them without too much fuss and hassle. I went with the standard Picatinny rail system. Picatinny rails are pretty common in the world of firearms for attaching sights and grips and that sort of thing. So they've also sort of found their way into the world of photography for attaching various other things to tripods and that kind of thing. So by having the rails, we instantly get access to a whole load of off-the-shelf grips, slings, stands, other attachments, as well as standardized mounting brackets that we can then print custom things to attach whatever we want onto it. Here we've got a custom case I printed for a Flipper Zero with an articulated arm, also 3D printed, and the standard Picatinny clamp on the end, which can then attach onto the rail system at whatever point we need it. For this particular design of the case, I've also included these top roll bars. These are the highest point on this top surface of the deck itself, meaning that it will provide some protection for the screen, the ports, the keyboard, and also allows for other items to be easily stacked on top of it. This cyber deck is very much built to my particular use case. Frequently, one size doesn't fit all when it comes to computing and workplace situations. It might be down to accessibility needs, or just access to affordable, portable technology. And I really hope that this can help fulfill those niches. If you would like to see the full build log, including all the parts used, instructions of how they all go together, and get access to the print files for the casing, I've put the link down in the description. And thanks for watching.